What is the first album you guys bought oh. ever? I think uh, mine was 10 by Pearl Jam. Mm -hmm. And uh, I listened to it <laughs> relentlessly. I think my family hated me. Oh. Like, you turn that shit off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I loved Did it. you listen when they said it? No, I didn't listen. I played it and played it and played it and played it and played it. <laughs> Do you still listen to it now sometimes? I still enjoy it now, yeah, yeah. Wow. The you? first album I bought with my own money was Pearl Jam Go. Wow. But the first album I was given was Jagged Little Pill <laughs> by Lars Morissette. But yeah, I loved Go. That was a good album. We were talking about Pearl Jam the other day in the car. Mm. Love them. Good oh, band. I was given um, Coolio. Coolio? <laughs> right. Gangster's Paradise. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I got most of my records from my father. What was the first CD you... I mean, the, Papa. the first thing that's, that, that surprised me the most was he gave... Because he's, cause, cause he's a lot older, but he still always stayed with the times, and he gave me Bleach, like before Nevermind even came out, which... I, which it was really strange to me now that he was like so on top of grunge scene as like a 50 year old man. <laughs> What's yours? Mine, mine was 741 or Killer Knife, I feel like. That was, that was, that was, that was my phone, <laughs> first record, I think. Yeah, yeah, I swear. I think it's a typical like, young person thing. I think probably the first one I ever bought must have been Michael Jackson. Oh, Violets. Yeah, yeah Violets. Violet. 180. <laughs> Yeah, Bone Violet's album was actually the first time yeah. I ever bought. I actually, honest to God, can't remember the first record I ever bought. <laughs> I remember the first record that I bought and it was Marvin Gaye, um, I think it was called Midnight Love. Um, and it's like, not. I think it's called Midnight Love or Moonlight Love or something, but it's not a good Marvin Gaye record. And I, I still to this day love Marvin Gaye, but I don't really like that record. Um, maybe I should re-explore it. So it's like almost a cool record. I mean, imagine if my first record had been What's Going On or Trouble Man or something like that. That would have been amazing. Imagine but, if your first record had been um like um, uh, Trans Europe Express, for example. I know, I know. That would be amazing. so cool. Um, my, I, I, I can't work out in my <coughs> mind whether it was, I can't work out in my mind whether it was Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction, The Beatles' Abbey Road, or MC Hammer, or Vanilla Ice. It was one of those four. But it could have been the second Cindy Lauper album too. So it's one of those, you know? So all great albums, you know, especially the Vanilla Ice album. Classic. A stroke single or something, a couple of years later, and you know, all those things, you know. And for you, Sam? Uh, the first album I ever bought was uh, Gorilla's first album. <laughs> 2001. <laughs> yeah. That sounds a lot younger. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, all I, that's what I remember getting, it's like the first proper <laughs> album I wanted to buy. I don't know, I think it was Blur. Blur? For you? Um, I, it was Jagged Little Pill and Alice Morissette, <laughs> but it was on cassette. When did that come out? 2000? 2001. So you were seven. Yeah, seven. <laughs> He's very young. 